Hello guys, I'm Tim Langston with Red Dog Bushcraft. Thank you for joining me. Today, a little different video. Today is all about saying thank you. A couple of weeks ago, I was at the Pathfinder Spring Gathering. Uh, the trip there got off to a little bit of a rocky start. I was in a vehicle accident on the way there, rear-ended on the interstate, wound up totaling my vehicle. Almost turned around and went home, but I decided to persevere. I was almost there, two hours away, I decided to go on to the school, and I am so glad that I did. Had a wonderful time there, met some great people. It was a, uh, a nice time of different people just sharing knowledge, all kinds of skills going on. Uh, kids, women, men, just everybody just pitching in, having a ball. It was a great experience, and I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who made that gathering possible. Dave, I know you put a lot of work into it, and I really appreciate it. While I was there, each night they had a challenge, and I was able to win two of those challenges, and I received some great gifts. Stay with me. I'm going to reposition the camera, and I want to show you those gifts. Okay, guys, first of all, for the two fire challenge, Sean, the Silver Fox, who has a YouTube channel out of the UK, made this beautiful cup for me. Has his logo on one side, Pathfinder Gathering 2012 on the front, and the Pathfinder logo on the other side. Beautiful stitching, nice craftsmanship, and he enjoyed me. He. <laughs> He uh, he encouraged me to enjoy beverages out of this, and I will sure do that. And he signed the bottom of it for me also. Uh, uh, Steve Critter Davis has a friend who is a blacksmith, and he donated this nice campfire grate. It folds up and packs away. It's nice size. Uh, it's big enough to uh, put over a small campfire and cook on, and if you've seen any of my videos with me and my family, you know that I love to cook outside, and we try to do that as often as we can, so this is something that I will definitely use. I love it not just because it's handmade, but the, the dimensions are perfect. I can pack it up and take it with me when we go camping. Uh, another thing that his friend made was this. They sold it as a, as a squirrel cooker. It has a fork on one side, and a place to hang your pot on the other and this forged rod has a little crook in it where you can set it up to where you can utilize either side over a campfire and uh, that's going to be nice for roasting meat or hanging my pot and kettle and I can't wait to use that. Now the, the fourth day that I was there they had a triathlon or what they called the Pathfinder Ironman and for that particular event uh, we had a fishing tournament uh, using uh, very minimal gear. We practiced our hunting by uh, a uh, sharpshooting competition or target shooting competition with a slingshot. And then we had the fire challenge. The fire challenge was you had to have five fires burning at one time. Three, you could utilize modern means, but two had to be primitive. And by the way, it was cloudy, the wind was kicking up, a front was coming in, and it was raining. It made that primitive fire a lot tougher. Uh, this was set up. I understand that Steve Critter Davis also had an influence on this. I'll give you a little bit tighter shot of it here in just a second. The 550 cord uh, representing the bow drill fire, I'm sure. The uh, ferrocium rod. Uh, representing the modern fire, of course the forged fish hook and some bank line for the fishing competition and the knife always representing the hunter. This is a beautifully made knife and sheath. I'll give you a close up here in just a moment. Let me lay that out and pick the camera up and I'll actually get a little bit closer. Here I'm going to cut this off and reposition for you. Okay, first of all the sheath this is Kydex on leather. Very nicely made, heavy duty rivets. I mean, just great craftsmanship just in the uh, sheath itself. And then with everything that it represents uh, being made onto this, uh, beautiful workmanship, great work of art. 
Uh, over here we have the knife. This is the Pathfinder logo series by Blind Horse Knives. It has their logo on one side and the Pathfinder school logo on the other. Uh, the handle is tapered. You would think it was made to fit my hand. Look at the size of the thickness of this blade. Full tang. You can go on their website and look up the specs. Uh, it's Scandi Grind, which I have really come to love. I thought the knife of this size, that thickness with that Scandi Grind, might be hard to use, but I'm going to tell you what, the learning curve was minimal, and I love it. And this is now my preferred carry, and it will definitely be my one tool uh, carry option. I was encouraged not to just utilize this as a trophy, but that it was made to be used and uh, I plan on doing exactly that. My thanks to everyone who made all of these gifts possible. I cherish each and every one of them and I thank you for it. I'm Tim Langston with Red Dog Bushcraft. God bless.